Hello, this is Cascade, and welcome back to Kenshi. We are heading towards the Crab Village. We are out here, and hopefully we'll make it there, and maybe we'll camp out there and start picking them off at nightfall. Here's our relationship with the Crab people, the crab raiders is zero we're getting ready to change that it's gonna go up i can guarantee you they will not be our friends after this and you can see some of the uh faction relationships that we have the black dogs minus 92 black dragon ninjas minus 81 blood raiders minus 100 and on and on it goes you see all the red those are bad relationships um Get down here to the green. I actually have half decent relationship with the outlaws. Um, the Shack Kingdom 62, which was the first one that I befriended after the Shinobi Thieves, which I have a hundred with. You had to pay for that one. And then United Cities, I have a really good relationship at 84. So we are going to round the guys up and the girls up and we will start heading in this direction green beach that's where this crab village is and i see a horde of crabs off in the distance. I do not think they will do anything. Uh, you can see the arrow is white on them, which means they should be neutral towards me. But once we start raiding their village, I'm sure that will change quite a bit. Okay, let's get down here on the beach. And we should encounter some uh, crab raiders. And it's a bunch of junk in my way. But it is nothing compared to the swamp. Boy, the swamp lane, you just have to, at least I have to constantly save. Uh, it's just so much graphics in there that, oh, we're back in Strobe's Garden, Stobes Garden. But anyways, the swamp is just exactly what the name says it's a uh, very swampy a lot of graphics it wears on your computer quite a bit and I don't have that great of a system hopefully someday soon I can upgrade Zoom out some so I can see what is going on. And looks like some crab raiders way off in the distance there. I'm assuming if we get close to them they would attack us but i am not sure okay so let's check the map okay i can go straight ahead and hit the crab village so i'm gonna go this way see if i can avoid them oh beto wants to go all by himself come back here beto and we'll get the whole group of you and you guys head that way looks like a pretty good horde Let's see what they look like. They're marching in formation. You know, one thing I could do, and I might do this. I'm going to come over here. I've got Kate, who is one of my hivers that I'm still trying to uh, train as far as stealth goes. 
and and also assassinations or just knocking people out so I think I may send Kate there's some crabs around here if they attack me I should be okay I just want to try to train Kate up hmm now they're coming right for me no they're not they're going away so let me get Kate set up here so I need to put her ninja rags on and I guess I can have her backpack out it won't make that big of a difference I'll put her on sneak mode and let's see if we can sneak in and knock, knock out some of these crabs crab raiders so let's go this way Kate and it is 8 30 in the morning so maybe that may hinder my stealthiness you can see the little eye there is yellow which means I'm being seen but it's not too bad let's see if we can get it to blue over here and yeah, there's blue again okay so now what we're going to try to do with Kate let's check her uh, stealth is at 80 and assassination is at 71 which is pretty decent so let's see if we can start knocking out some of these guys so I'm gonna knock this guy out here with Kate knock down I'm gonna knock you out mama says knock you out old song I don't like rap music but okay we'll get rid of this and this might be a little time consuming but we're just gonna start oh 1300 cats I like it we're gonna just start knocking people out and training Kate up so 92% chance on this dude whack down he goes thunk loot let's see 200 nope not interested man these this crab gear is really good some of the best gear in the game 1300 again we'll take it I'm not gonna have room for all of this stuff okay let's see he's gonna drop down here let's go 90 100 97 100 let's go hit this dude while this clothesless man will drop to the ground and there he goes crumpled over okay let's see yeah he's got some good gear some good loot what is this worth you know what I'm gonna get rid of this one these are both worth 1300 so that's a no-brainer um, I've got room for one more bandage okay let's see Kate where you going um, 97 yep let's take this dude out Thunk. loot mm, let's see 300 okay all this stuff's gonna go let's see how much 600 yep I gotta take it now I'm just going for a thousand I think it hinders my stealthiness if I am over encumbered too much so let's work our way down this way let's get this guy okay try to loot him before he falls and I can't I can now and this looks pretty good right here 755 okay I'll take it but the rest of the stuff, no, I will not. Oops. So we're getting some good practice in here. This should help Kate and her skills with assassination. I wonder if I can run through these guys and get this guy. I'm going to just work my way up. This one's 91%. And down he goes. Uh-oh, he turned yellow. Don't like that. I'm going to take that too. 
612 nope I can always come back and scoop some stuff up but if I raid their entire village uh, hopefully there's some uh, good stuff there I'm leaving their boots on I don't know why but I feel bad stripping them down like that K95 okay, pretty sure I can get this guy oh I'm seen look at that see that see the red dot there that is not good it might be because I have too much weight on me it says I can still still stealth KO him so I'm gonna try it let's see what happens oh it's, it won't let me do it and I'm assuming again because I am uh, over encumbered however I don't know maybe it's this uh, crab that's right here so I'm gonna run back here and I'm just gonna dump some of my loot in Bebo have Bebo store it come on Kate go where are you oh yeah you're heavy you're running slow I'm gonna take her off a of sneak I should speed her up a little bit Got some crabs coming towards me, but I have time. They're pretty slow. You can outrun them. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, pause. Let's get all this stuff over there. That, 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 that. And let's rearrange this, see if we got some room. Yes, we got some room down below, but not very much. Uh, where are those guys at now? Don't want to chase after them anymore. Um, where are they? There's a crab there. Let me run it, see if I see any movement. I don't see them. Okay, I'm going to go back here. Oh, there's some more guys right there. So, Kate, why don't you knock some of these dudes out? Good practice. Let me see what her, if her skills went up at all. Oh, she's at 72 assassination now. So that went up a little bit. Okay, Kate. Come knock this guy out. Stealth KO. See how long it takes her to get over there. Crab Raider Country. Back. Knockout. Okay, 75. You know, I'm going to get rid of this. Only if it's a thousand now. I'm getting greedy. What is this? Oh, that's a thousand. I guess I'm not that greedy. Okay, let's see. This dude here. 100% chance. Stealth. KO. Thunk. Oh, yeah. I think I'll be able to loot him before he drops. Nope. There he goes. Crumpled over. I love the way they drop down. Sometimes they'll fall backwards. Looks like it breaks their kneecaps. These guys don't even know that they're supposed to have a bad relationship with me. They still probably have a zero. Oh yeah, that'll take 1,600 cats. Every day. 612? Nope. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, 55. Why is that? That guy's 55. This guy's 100. Okay, so if I can't knock this guy out, he'll turn on me. And I would run back to my guys over here. Let me see if there's any other crabs around. I might get swarmed. It might not be good for me. Let's see if I can knock out another guy over here. I'm going to try him. Man, why is he so hard to knock out? What is he? He's just a crab raider. Let's see what his, his attack's pretty high. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Um, You know what? I'm going to try it. Why not? Oh, got him. What did he say? I'm going to check out the dialogue here. How exotic. 
A drifter from out of the pits. They are, are they running to something right now? What are they running to? Are they running? I can't see. Huh. I don't know what they're talking about. I would be a drifter to them. Okay, let's loot this dude. Oh yeah, that's nice. Rest of the stuff. Out of here. Oh, this is kind of fun. Yeah, I got a guy with 55% chance of knocking him out. And I knocked him out. Okay, let's get this dude. Funk. Oh yeah, that looks... Ooh, 2,000 cats for that pole arm. I will take it all day long. And then a nice... 1300 cats for this rusty chain shirt. Yes, sir. I'll take that. We'll take it. Okay. Knocking out people is fun. This guy hasn't dropped yet. He's a Scorchlander. Okay. 97% chance. I think he's going to fall down. Thunk. Okay. Whoops. There he goes. Loot. Oh, that guy fell over backwards. Fell completely backwards. You will have to have knee replacement surgery, I think. I think, thanks to Kate. And look at his gear. It's levitating in the air. Hmm, that's interesting. Kate's knockout was so good, it levitated his gear. Wow. Boom. Okay, turned yellow. I don't know why. Okay, this is a good pole arm too. 2,000 cats. Rest of the gear. On the desert floor it goes, or on the beach floor. I think when I get to the village, uh, it might be kind of hard because they're going to be coming at me from all directions, but uh, at least I'll get to practice my knockout skills. Boom. Down on one knee. He's taking a knee. The Colin Kaepernick of Crab Raiders. Okay, 900. Oh, why do I have that in my inventory? I don't want that. Um, will I take this 900? I guess I will. It doesn't take up much space. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Ooh, 1,300 cats. I like it. Okay, let's see what we got over here. 100% chance. As I pass my crumpled up dudes that I've knocked out. Okay, come on, Kate. Get him. Get him. Get him. Okay, down he goes. Let's loot this dude. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, that is a good pole arm there. Um, wow, I'm running out of room for pole arms. Um, I need to have room so I can strip these guys down of their gear. Whoa. See, I didn't want to do that. Okay, there. You go down here, and I'm going to put you back up here. Okay, let's see what I'm going to do. You know what I can do? I can move these over here. Or at least move one of them over there. That makes for some room. 612. Nope. Get rid of that. So, let's see. I've got room for one more pole arm. Rats, rats, rats. Okay. Well, almost did it. 93, 97. I'll go for the 93. Stealth KO. Thunk. Oh, and down he goes. And he's going to go backwards. He's going back. He's going to take a nap. How much is this one worth? 2,000. Yes, sir. 1,300. 
Okay, I think I will limp back, crawl back. I've got a lot of weight, but that's okay. Kate will get stronger, carrying more weight. Now I've got to find my guys. There they are back there. Okay, Kate, run for the hills. Look at all those guys. Man, this is knockout territory right here. Ooh, there's some beak things off in the distance there. Don't want to mess with those. Ooh, this might be harder than I thought as far as taking this crab village down. And you've got several different uh, enemies to deal with. Oh man, there, there are crab raiders everywhere. This might just be an episode of uh, crab raiding. So let's see if I can transfer some of this stuff over. I probably can't get all of it in and I can't. So I am going to have to take Kate to Grog here and trade with Grog. And Grog has a bunch of stuff. Okay, this, 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 this. Man, I might just have to go back to the Black Scratch or somewhere and unload this gear there is just I'm not even there's the village off there in the distance right there and there's just too many opportunities to just knock people out and, and get some loot so that is what I plan on doing okay Kate let's see let's go get these dudes here so run over here Kate Man, the big things. Don't like the big things. Oh, my base is getting attacked. It's probably nothing serious. Let me see what's going on there. It is a pile of hungry bandits. So, and it looks like there's some carnage here in the front. That looks like a dust bandit there. It is a dust bandit. He's probably looking up ahead at these dudes and thinking, wait a second, should I go there? Okay, let's just see what happens here for a second. I've only got four people and I've got a bone dog here. And they're on my, um, my crossbows up here, my mounted crossbows. So he's trying to shoot. And yeah, we're going to have to, and he's down, 167, and he's dying. Okay, I'm going to go back to my explore team. Let's get to Kate. And she is kind of being seen. What happened to the crab raiders? Who is this dude? He's, he must be a guy knocked out, and he's like, what happened? Well, where am I? Yeah, there's a line of gear right there. Okay, I thought there were some guys going this direction. Let me see. Oh, he's red now. Kate is red. Kate is being seen. Um, 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 um. So some of those guys I knocked out are getting up. Let's just go knock this guy out again. For the fun of it. Oh, this guy's looking at me. Oh, that's 0% chance. He sees me. Okay, he sees me. Ah, what happened to the other crab raiders? Are those crab raiders out there or just crabs? Looks like just crabs. Just crabs. Okay, Kate, I'm going to have you pull back here. Let's see if anybody comes after you. What did that guy say? I'm going to check the dialogue. It's like he said, ouch. Irk, what happened? <laughs> what happened? You got knocked out, dude. Okay, now they're coming towards me. Kate still has a red eye. She's being seen. My guts are hurting, says the one dude who got knocked out. Okay, Kate is now blue. So these guys are kind of turning around. I'm going to go over here. 
What happened? I knocked you out, dude. My guts are hurting. Okay, they're falling back in line. Go over here. Get behind them, Kate. All those dudes I knocked out are now getting back in line. So now I'm going to go on a knockout binge. Okay, why are you red? Let's get over here and see what happens. Okay, you're blue now. Okay, so these guys have been knocked out. Hopefully there's no more guys over here that have been knocked out. They're going to get up and see me. And spoil my knockout binge. Okay, let's just knock people out. Help Kate out. Sunk. Down you go. Let's get you. These guys are all Scorchlanders. I guess. Oh, look at that guy. Looks like he's doing a new dance move right there. Sticking his rear end out. I don't like that. This guy's got some old Fruit of the Loom whitey tighties on. Kapow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I love pausing it. Bent over backwards. Okay. All right, knock this dude out. And down he goes to one knee. I wonder if it's the same guy that went down to one knee last time. Okay, stealth KO this dude. Come on, come on, come on. I want to get some more gear. Okay, he's down. All right, Kate, let's go for this dude right here. Stealth KO, we can get some gear. Whack. Oh, yeah, let's go over here. Or somebody saw me. See that little yellow arrow floating right there? I think he saw me before he went down. Okay, let's loot this guy. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's a good pull arm. 2,000 cats. 612, nope. I know when I was taking out the Holy Nation, I would just stealth KO on them. And all their patrols were walking around on their underwear. I loved it. Okay, down you go. And 755, nah, not going to take it. So Kate's getting in some good work today, and it's still only not even 11 o'clock yet. Get ready to be 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, Kate is practicing her stealthiness and her assassination skills. Assassination skills. And this guy's kneeling. Looks like he's going to do a confessional here. Loot this dude. Loot. 900. Yeah, I'll take that one. I don't know why I wouldn't take the 700, but I'll take the 900. 1300? Definitely we'll take that one. Okay. All right. And it's going to be interesting because I might try to run through the crabs and get the guy up front. Whack. When your assassination skills get so good, okay, loot. You can um, you can be invisible. I mean, you can bump into people and they won't even know you're there. It's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. We're going to try to run through the crabs and assassinate this guy. So let's see what happens. Stealth KO. Let me get a good view here. Come on, Kate. You can do it. There she is. Boom! Oh, are the crabs trying to get me? Let's see. Oh, I think they are. Look at that. Their pinchers are up. I'm going to try to loot him first before they get me. Oh. They're just turning around. They're leaving me alone. 
So I will take this and the rest of it will hit the pavement or the dirt. Okay, you are the star You are the star of the day. Look at that. Kate. You are the best, Kate. Oh, look at that. Is he trying to get me? Okay, Kate, run over here. Maybe they can't see me. Yeah, they can't see me. Where'd he go? Kate, look at you. Look at you. I gotta get a shot of this here. Kate, the flying assassinating hiver. What is her abilities up to now? Let's check it out. 74 for assassination stealth is still 80. So that is good, Kate. Way to go. Okay, I am going to end it here. Thanks for joining in and watching this. And I had fun today assassinating these people, these crab raiders. It looks like we're going to be here for a while having fun assassinating and looting the crab village. So thanks for joining in. I will see you next time. And have a great day.